if you need all in one app cleaner and uninstaller then this is the best solution for you you just need to go to this website and download app cleaner i have already downloaded and installed it on my macbook what it does it will basically remove all the leftovers on your macbook for example if you uninstall any software then that will leave some of the files there and it will occupy your memory so you can get rid of all those remaining files system files or whatever there are the files some of the files are creating problems and these are the leftovers this is not just an uninstaller but you can go to start menu and check all these options what are the files what are the software initiated whenever you log in your computer or just restart your macbook then these are the files after you restart your MacBook, they will launch automatically. You can turn them on and off like so. Then there are some extensions. You can remove all the extensions here at one place. And in the application, if I choose, for example, I want to remove Adobe Premiere Pro, I go to uninstall. It will uninstall all the files, no matter where they reside in the library or other folders. So it will remove thoroughly all the files and there will be no leftovers similarly i can go to extension if there are any unnecessary extensions i can simply go to remove them from my directory there is a good feature that is here remaining files if you just see there are a lot of files and uh, applications on your mac os and uh, if you just drag any of the files or an application to delete like this it will leave the files there and it is not permanently deleted but you can't use it anymore then the simple way is to just go to this software and remove all the remaining file as you can see it has occupied 21.6k files and they are of 578 mb leftovers these are not the apps i'm using anymore so i can simply go to remove it will show me the path where, where these files are located. I can simply click on remove. It will analyze all of my MacBook and delete all those files. Boom. Here we go. There is one file that is not being removed because I'm still using Microsoft Office. If you want to go and check the updates for any of your apps, for example, I have different apps and these are the apps I need to update so i can simply just update all or select any of them and press on update let's say i want to update my node vpn then i will select only node vpn and update and update look it started boom here we go now if i go to apple store and type node you will see it says open it simply means it is already updated there are so many junk files on your mac os as you already know so you can remove those junk folders and files as well there are duplicate files junk files and it can analyze all of your disk space at one place you can simply go and download this option as well but the real cool feature is here whenever i uninstall applications it will not leave any trace any leftover or any security or other integration or service files there it is very much important for me to remove adobe photoshop you know what i mean cool adobe gcc client is always popping up so it can remove that one from my system anyway it's a paid app and the free version as well you can simply go to buy and get a lifetime license in 49 and 24 and 11 and there is always a way you already know my Instagram is free, you know. I'll see you there. Bye.